Hello everyone. So this is my wire spool loose parts table. Um, it was inspired by the Reggio Emilia method of teaching. Um, you'll be able to get a solid tour after I kind of give you a little lowdown about where I started with this um, and hand painted it. Um, so the things that you definitely need, 100% hot glue gun, um, Michael's Crafts, few dollars. Um, I got tons and tons of glue sticks because you can never have enough hot glue. Um, but most importantly, I used recycled parts. Um, so this is an example of one of the things I've been collecting. Um, I live in New Orleans. Um, so New Orleans local breweries, they put these on their tops of their beers. I mean, apparently it's better for the environment. It's recyclable. It's easier than those stringy plastic things that all of our sea animals get stuck in. So I live in New Orleans, so I clearly collect a, a lot of these. Um, next thing I bought was Craft Smart paint. This is so amazing. It was such a great price. It was like a pack of, I think, 10 of them for $16.99 at Michael's Crafts. Um, I didn't even have to run out and get any more paint. And when we go further in, I'll show you... Um, <sighs> I, the whole surface is covered. Um, so if you're an experienced acrylic painter, um, you can also reuse it and wet it with water and it blends very, very easily. It's absolutely beautiful. I also like just bought a random thing of rocks at Michael's Crafts. Um, also for the Lutz parts, um, I did go to Walmart. We bought a Kid Connection construction playset that was about $5, and then a farm tractor playset. Um, this was definitely the final purchase because we kind of like didn't really know where we were going with the spool to begin with. So as you can see, um, the rocks I bought, the paint I bought, um, this is supposed to be like a farm pond scene. Um, the barn is actually a birdhouse. It was $5. I hand painted it and it's kind of just there for, you know, display. I would have loved if the door can open and close, but maybe next year. Um, the fence was made from these tiny popsicle sticks, very similar to toothpicks and, um, strung together by hemp. Also, these cute little planners are so cute. But as you can see, I have a shovel, a little rake thing, and a wrench. And that came with the farmer's playset that I showed y'all earlier. So we're getting to the fun now. Um, so this is actually a recycled bread container. So as an early childhood teacher who's working with the Reggio Amelia method and trying to use loose parts and recycled materials um, to spark creativity. Well, I had a little bit of my own. Oh, let's not forget about the hay bales. Also giving credit to Michael's Crafts. So breadcrumb container, this comes off. And again, I showed you the beer tops. So I ended up cutting them. So they fit perfectly through this slit I made out of the container. Um, so this is a great little manipulative, um, it fits right through, um, and the top is easily removable, so the exploration is attainable. So we have that, that's the top of the farm. Um, I, as you can see, there's glitter everywhere. <laughs> that little spiral had a slight glitter mishap, so glitter is pretty much everywhere, including on my dog as she walks away <laughs> anyway so let's move on to the second area so again that's the beer tops that i painted into a very artistic looking traffic light it's just kind of there <laughs> for show and um to kind of understand the concept and the colors again this is all with that 16.99 pack of craftsmart acrylic paint um, as you move over to here, um, there's a pipe as well that goes through the table, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, these little loose parts I hot glued down um, just because 
my nephew is not quite at the age to be dealing with toys that small so just on the safe side I hot glued them down um, I hand painted a crane as well um, there's roads leading to nowhere but I always say roads lead to roads and then being a toddler teacher I thought to myself I'm like they spend a lot of time upside down so I painted a sky to kind of you know resemble what looking up and feeling might be it kind of goes right into the crane scene and then there's also some upside down roads um, because I believe a child's imagination, you know, let's, uh, bring it to the fullest beyond, above and beyond. Um, also, as you can see, these are kind of camouflaged in it. Um, some leaves I bought at Michael's Crafts, um, which you'll see once I get into the loose parts. So that is the base. That is the table. Um, this is... Pretty much the bare minimum of anything I would say most of the things that I bought maybe cost me around $80 plus some random Walmart trips but all in all it was a lot of fun painting so let's get to the fun part so we're starting with this pipe I have collected you know wine corks living in New Orleans and everything so I'm going to empty the wine corks, leave them on the side over here, and I'm bringing the bucket underneath the pipe. Now here's where the magic happens. Into the bucket, which is also cool, is that with the construction set comes, dun da da a truck so the truck can be driven underneath the pipe and plop goes one of those wine corks also with the construction set came a little digger which is so cute and you know move about throughout the table go upside down whatever they want but this is the construction area. Also, these cones, just to recap, that actually came with the construction site. Also, what came with that is these tiny little rock-looking things. I haven't decided if I want to glue them or that hasn't been discussed yet. But anyway, so they're movable, and they can also go in the dump truck. So moving on again to the first floor, I also bought the farm tractor playset. Dun da da! Now this one's my favorite. The other one still needs batteries, but ready? And it lights up. So cool. What came with that set also is you know i'm i'm calling him farmer joe because like why not he kind of looks like a farmer joe and i'm just gonna like stand him up on top of the the barn because he's super cool and that's what he'll stay for now also with that set came two little bales of hay that can be used you know also as a movable part we can put them in the tractor you know whatever the kids want to do and then it also came with these little, little fences that can also be used for loose parts. Now, moving on to the loose parts that we made, my husband and I. Um, so like I showed you before, we got little vine ivy things from Michael's Crafts and we made a, a movable tree. So the tree can go over by the silo, the bucket can go downstairs, you know, all uh, helping with the creative process and, and learning that real life, real life experience. Um, we also made a little, little bridge to go over the river. Popsicle sticks, teacher's best friend. I use them for everything. Um... And then we decided, well, how can we put the ladder and, and make sure, like, both parts are kind of 
agreeing with each other that there's a way to get down onto the other level. So a popsicle stick ladder. Why not? And last but not least, we named this Connor Bill. This is our first prototype. Connor Bill is our nephew. And uh, this is his his loose parts activity table for Christmas. And I hope you all have a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Kwanzaa, all the above. Have a good night.